Okay, great. So the Pokemon Mini homebrew community has been uh, helping me get through some hurdles here. So at the moment, um, there is a system for displaying dialogue and story. I'm sorting out right now how much text I can fit on the screen, so I'll have to adjust it so the uh, text box fits fully. Then we have um, the menu button. You press the C on the side that opens up the menu, and you can view your party data here. So I need to uh, now program where it draws the values for your uh, health points, your power, your hipness, and your friendship. Uh, if you check your party members, you'll probably, if you're familiar with the series, you'll probably recognize some of these faces here. So your party members will consist of Wilma, Bull, Gold, Hogan, and Oxa. And you will have to... It's a, it's a little bit like a virtual pet, but for a camp simulator where you're taking care of your party members and your campsite. And I thought that would be the kind of gameplay that is in keeping with the spirit of these small portable devices. Uh, I would like to be able to implement... Um, if there's the um, accelerometer feature for shaking that guy, uh, some rumble feature, and uh, I think it's going to be a challenge getting music in there. I'm just going to write the soundtrack in one bit, and then I'll, I'll figure out how to get it onto this thing later. I've been waiting to figure out if I can get some software working to do the music for this, but I haven't been able to sort it out. It's been a year, so I'm just going to write in one bit, and I'll figure it out later, uh, and then we can just listen to the soundtrack uh, outside of that. So, um, yeah. Um, this should all be mostly, yeah, it's a bit hard to tell, um, but there is sort of like some gray, shades of gray uh, in there in the characters. Hard to tell on the phone. The phone doesn't really pick it up um, properly, but it, it looks, there's more difference in the color of the shades um, when you're playing it on hardware and on an emulator. Okay, you can exit out the menu. I need to program the next menu that shows your camp stats. Um, so you press C, it'll go to your camp stats, and you press C again, and it'll be your list of activities that you can do to increase your stats. And it'll be a, a couple different mini games, some battle modes. Every character uh, has a different activity that they perform. Um, and there will be a, a couple storyline events that you can view. Uh, so um, I might have to add the code linker a little later while I figure out how to implement it on this guy, but 100% guaranteed this will connect to the other games in the series. So this will connect to the Switch titles. Um, a, a number of the titles uh, on the older consoles, I think, do implement it, um, but not many games have implemented connectivity. But uh, for the foreseeable future, now that I've gotten to this point, every single Silver Falls game that comes up will have connectivity with this Pokemon Mini. Uh, and I will update... Ghoul Busters, Episode Prelude, and Guardians and Metal Exterminators S on the Switch. Those three games are on the Switch right now. I will update them so they can connect to the Pokemon Mini, and you can, um, you know, character content from this can go over to that game. Okay, uh, thanks for checking in.